we're choosing Apple Macs at the very highest level. Everything we do, we're stretching the boundaries. Malcolm Kay is the school's superintendent. You can't build skills of analysis and synthesis and evaluation without technology these days. Students with dyslexia face significant challenges in the modern day classroom. The challenges a person has with this learning disorder involve difficulties with spelling, reading and writing. Dyslexia Australia describes dyslexia as the capacity to process information differently, enabling innovative thought and perception. It is characterised by a visual and experimental learning style. So with this description we can see that students with dyslexia can still achieve great things academically. They do, however, process new information different to someone who does not have dyslexia. A report by Access Australia states students' achievement and better pedagogies in literacy and numeracy are fundamental to improving the learning capacity, employability and positive participation of young people. We can see from this report that there is a great need for teachers to understand how individual students learn and communicate. So it's very important for example, that your school keep up to date on keeping its teachers informed of research-based, tested ways of instruction, and also not to expect every child to learn exactly the same way. And it really means that we all have different brains and our schools need to adapt to each child's individual differences, which really in the long run are, are what make the human race so wonderful after all. As noted by Fellows, the approach to language development requires a classroom teacher to provide a context for authentic oral communication that is characterised by interpersonal interaction and purposeful and varied talk situations. It is through engagement in these situations as a language learner interacts in real, language-rich, low-anxiety communicative situations that language development occurs. In 2010, a report was handed to the Honourable Bill Shorten, who was the then Parliamentary Secretary for Disabilities and Children's Services. This report describes the serious personal cost of dyslexia as well as the social and economic cost to Australia. It points out that in Australia there are no specific avenues for adults and children with dyslexia to achieve diagnosis and support, and there are many problems that affect students with dyslexia. These problems include the need for high-quality literacy instruction, the great need to improve current teachers' knowledge and understanding of dyslexia, there needs to be special academic considerations for dyslexics, pre-service teachers should be granted training in dyslexia and other learning disorders while they are still training at university, and funding needs to be allocated to assist in the research of dyslexia. Each kindergarten and primary school student up to year five has an iPad. In year six and above, students are also given a MacBook Pro. There's a place for technology, but really it shouldn't be too early. While education expert and author Kevin Donnelly concedes there are lessons to be learned from our Asian neighbours, he believes there should still be a focus on putting pen to paper. Now, technology is here to stay, but I think there are unintended consequences, one of which is that children rely on them too much and they forget that they've got a very good computer on their shoulders. Utilising technology is a way schools can engage all students and enhance their education in the classroom. As noted in the Melbourne Declaration on Educational Goals for Young Australians, the curriculum will include practical knowledge and skills developed in areas such as ICT and design and technology, which are central to Australia's skilled economy and provide crucial pathways to post-school success. In this very class, we have learnt that technology may very well include interactive whiteboards, iPads, Kindles, Word documents with hyperlinks, web-based learning, educational video games, and other forms of social media. My last school we had whiteboards and now this school we have Promethean boards. Promethean boards are touchable, audible screens that talk to iPads, tablets and laptops. For Year 5 student Sophia Bassett, Stanford is a world away from her old school on Queensland's Sunshine Coast. We had handwriting lessons and here we just like we have ICT instead. What's that? It's where we um, learn stuff on our like iPads. 
Cursive writing has all but made way for keystroke. According to a report by Access Australia in 2005, each year in Australia, around 86,000 teenagers leave school without completing 12 years of education. Of these students, around 50,000 never complete 12 years of schooling or equivalent vocational training. Many of these students have learning difficulties and feel they cannot achieve on an academic level. After helping raise the reading level in a student, Nicholas wrote, This success has won my consensus that motivation and interest does indeed play a significant role in improving reading outcomes for students with special needs. It could be argued that literacy and language are about making new meanings and involve making connections between information that is already known and new information. This leads us towards the idea that learning occurs when sense can be made of the experience. As teachers, we need to ensure that students have been shown how to use their thinking capacities to reflect, infer, hypothesise, generalise and conclude. As stated by Emmett, Kamsarif and Pollock, we need to provide an environment that encourages risk-taking, that uses open entry and open-ended activities that will allow all learners to benefit. What we're here to do is to provide the best education on the planet. Malcolm Kay is the school's superintendent. You can't build skills of analysis and synthesis and evaluation without technology these days. The children should be ahead of the parents. We shouldn't be teaching children in a world that the parents occupy. We should be teaching children in a world that they will occupy in the future. So how can we, as teachers, help students make connections with the real world? Mark Prensky points out that students were once taught how to write a good letter, write a good report, and how to write a good essay. In the modern world, we need to teach students how to write emails, how to create PowerPoints, and we also need to teach them how to make videos. Prinsky claims there will certainly be additional new skills required for the 21st century that we don't yet know about. Um, having dyslexia and being a teenager is really difficult. But um, having the Kindle really helps because it reads to you and all I have to do is put my headphones in and read along with it and it helps me read. The simple fact that a person has dyslexia doesn't mean that they will be unsuccessful. There are many famous people who have carved out successful careers and have influenced people in their life. Local Ballarat student Rachel has said that having dyslexia is a big thing in my life. I personally don't like it and sometimes learning gets hard because of my dyslexia. She goes on to state that when she first found out she had dyslexia, she thought she couldn't do anything in life and that she wouldn't be as good at work or at school just like her friends. Many students are excited when they discover that Albert Einstein, Usher, Whoopi Goldberg, Orlando Bloom, Patrick Dempsey, Jamie Oliver and perhaps even their own family members have dyslexia. Rachel's parents helped her see that dyslexia isn't a bad thing but that it is a gift. Rachel said she was happy that her parents helped her gain a strong sense of self-esteem by encouraging her to participate in things that she could excel in, such as basketball, dance and singing. Teachers can find useful tips on how to approach classroom learning from the Australian Dyslexia Association website. Some insights from this include, do not ask the student to read aloud in class as this may embarrass students with dyslexia as they have fragmented reading. Ask the individual students if they have any questions and only use black ink on white backgrounds as many dyslexics find that the words float. There is no doubt that students with dyslexia face significant challenges in the modern day classroom. When teachers create individual learning plans and support students with learning difficulties, the classroom environment becomes a positive place to learn. In the report by Access Australia we read, Lives have been transformed through the use of assistive technology. Students with dyslexia may not have the highest literacy rate in the class, but with a strong sense of self-esteem they can still achieve greatness.